Hello, and welcome to the presentation for Senior Design Team P21673 with our project, Automatic Enzymatic Squeegee Cleaner for Tiny Fish Printing. Our team consisted of Nathan Dahar, a mechanical engineer and the project manager, James Shackley, a mechanical engineer, Kent Liley, an electrical engineer and the purchasing manager, Jay Dalheim, an electrical engineer, and Michael Duncan, an industrial engineer and the project facilitator. T-shirt printing presses use squeegees to scrape ink across screens, and then those squeegees get covered in ink. They can't be used again until they've been cleaned. Tiny Fish Printing, our client, uses an enzymatic-based cleaner called Aussie Juice. It contains tiny microorganisms that eat the gunk and get the parts nice and shiny. Our goal for this project was to speed up the squeegee cleaning process and achieve the following. Reduce the amount of time that employees spend cleaning. Decrease the total time spent cleaning squeegees. Keep within the lines of what Tiny Fish has available to maintain their workflow. And finally, to make the ink runoff easier to clean. Naturally, we started off with brainstorming some ideas and making napkin sketches. We tried to come up with as many ideas as we could to get the most perspective possible. Our best ideas were a dishwasher style system where all the dirty squeegees would be loaded into a rack and clean with brushes and sprayers, a hand-driven system that allowed an operator to clean the squeegees faster than but just by hand, and a chain drive system that automatically moves squeegees through a series of motor-driven rocks. We then looked at these three designs in more detail to try and understand the risks and opportunities of each. Picking the coolest, shiniest system wouldn't help if it would be too expensive or too complicated to build. After some thought, we settled on the chain drive design. Our testing suggested that this would both fulfill our needs and be achievable with our budget. A hopper system would let a single user load the machine with multiple squeegees at once, and cleaning with rotary brushes would also clean faster than just by hand. We believe that this method would avoid complexity and minimize risk of failure. We did run into a few problems along the way. Working on a large project during a global pandemic is difficult. Meeting in person to work, online orders, talking to the client, these were all risks. Another hurdle that led to some rethinking and some emails was the power demands of the system. Our original power requirement was 120 volt wall power. The overhead of our service only allowed for 20 amps though, which wasn't enough for us. This forced us to redesign for a 240 volt service after checking with the client. Finally, our design called for a big metal frame with lots of moving parts and motors and tanks of liquid. We had to make decisions about what parts of the design were worth keeping to stay under budget while meeting our client's needs. There are other screen printing companies that might want something like this. What if some of them have less cash? We could simplify and shrink the design so they could afford it. It's an interesting design challenge that we already have so much groundwork done for. We'd also like to explore an iterative design where there are levels of complexity depending on user needs. We like the vision of allowing less expensive systems, but with a fancy version if the budget is there. Thank you for watching.